Hey guys, uh, this is the first making plucks video. I wanted to show you uh, the process from sketch to final page. Uh, I'm just going to be kind of talking over some pre recorded video. So, um, uh, in the future, if we do more of these, go ahead and uh, go to the Patreon page to ask questions or the Facebook page. Uh, the Patreon page uh, is patreon.com slash plox. Uh, and you can find plucks on uh, Facebook. You can also find me at Steve Hammaker on Twitter. Um, Anyway, uh, we're going to dive right in. I'm just going to show you uh, what it takes to make, uh, make this comic. Hope you enjoy. Thanks, guys. So the first stage is um, all done in my sketchbooks. Uh, and as you can see, there's uh, thumbnail versions of all the pages. And some of them are in order and some of them aren't. Kind of uh, The way I do it is kind of pick a moment that I want to get to or... Um, you know, something that just kind of sticks out in my head uh, for a character, um, and then I kind of build around that. So uh, sometimes it starts with the ending of the scene, or sometimes it's in uh, the middle of the scene, and I can build back and forth. And most times, um, I don't have the first page until I write like three or four pages. So each chapter kind of gets its intro page, which most of the time is like an establishing shot. So. Um, Anyway, those, uh, those are my thumbnails. So this is stage two. Um, I take tracing paper and um, over top of my thumbnails, I just sort of go through a process about three or four different iterations of each page and just tightening up the pencils and really getting the acting and the characters' faces and uh, expressions and all that stuff. Um, and this is just where, you know, sort of the, the meat of the, the art um, is kind of fleshed out. And uh, here's just sort of a sped up uh, video of me uh, doing a little bit of tightening up. Um, so the the drawing underneath is really, really sketchy. And a lot of times it's done at, you know, thumbnail size. And then I blow it up in Photoshop, print it out, and then, uh, you know, go to the coffee shop and sit down and just kind of do this. Um, if you follow my Twitter, you'll see a lot of times I just, um, you know, I'll tweet out stuff I'm, I'm drawing at the time just because it's kind of fun to show people as I'm going. Um, but it's it's really just kind of the the place, uh, the stage at which uh, I figure everything out. Um, you know how things are really gonna look and feel. So here's some more uh, tight pencil um, sketches, uh, just showing how uh, how I'm sort of going along and picking and choosing certain panels that I need to concentrate on, like the drawings aren't, aren't right, or sometimes I'll just do drawings of characters separately, like in this case, and then just plop them in to the panels that they're supposed to go. So, um, yeah, you can see there are panels missing. A lot of times I duplicate um, characters from other um, panels and just kind of rework them. So this is a screen recording of the page where Chad is meeting Quick in his dream. Um, it's an older page, but uh, I had a really good screen recording of the inking process so you can see how I'm inking digitally in Photoshop. Um, anyway, I wanted to take this opportunity to let you guys kind of see this um, process, but also uh, answer some questions that some people had. Um, the first question I had was from Travis and on the Patreon uh, blog, and he asked me if I uh, had considered doing a book version of Plox, and uh, the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, that is the ultimate goal. Um, right now, I'm just in the process of building uh, building the story, but also building an audience. Uh, I want to. I really want to interact with readers as I go. So this was a really good opportunity for me to do that on the on the web. Um, sort of the old school way is you know s uh, do um, monthly comics and people write in. You know you get feedback that way, but. Obviously, uh, that doesn't really happen as much anymore, uh, and the internet's just a great way to connect with your audience like directly. So there's no, you know, no middleman on this. So uh, eventually, I'll um, plan on, uh, you know, doing a book and maybe uh, using Kickstarter or uh, something along those lines to um, be able to afford to do it, self-publish. Um, the second question was from Michael on Twitter, and he asked. Um, about the character's eyes, uh, where did that where did that develop? What did that look? Where did that look come from? And um, I think the first place that I can trace it was my um, 
my love of uh, Graham Annabel and uh, and his Grickle books. I think the way he draws uh, characters and uh, the way he uh, uses eyes to really express what the characters are thinking, and usually they're thinking uh, something. <laughs> um, something confused or uh you know he, he uses his eyes to really tell a lot, a lot of his uh, funny funny parts of the story anyway uh that was kind of the first you know uh, exposure to that and i just really liked it i thought it looked i think it's really easy to make characters look funny and this story is not all funny but when uh, when it gets funny it's easy for me to to draw stuff you know when the characters eyes are bugging out of their heads because they're always bugging out of their heads so uh anyway it's just the style that i developed and i kind of use it for lots of other stuff uh, that i do my, you know my other comics fish and chips is a, another comic i do and um they also have the same sort of eye treatment um but yeah that's where that came from uh, so i stole it from another cartoonist and then i made it my made it my own which is probably what lots of people would say about <laughs> their style <laughs> um Anyway, uh, I think the only other question was um, just sort of a frequently asked question. It's not from any one particular person, but uh, it was just how autobiographical is the story. And I would say it's um, it's fairly autobiographical. The characters, none of these characters are directly me. They're all uh, uh, what I what I decided to do is really split myself, my my own personality into into three. So I, I guess I'm. I am a little bit of a split personality, but sort of like the things that I'm interested in, the, the, the way, you know, the ways I would react to a situation. I took those things and sort of sprinkled them across three different characters. So making it um, more interesting for me, because I would rather not just do a straight up autobiographical story. I don't think it's, I don't think I'm that interesting in the first place. So being able to take stories and experiences from my, my life, but also my friends, uh, and just, you know, over the years, uh, and just kind of, uh, spread them out, you know, across these three characters has been re- has been really great. It's been a lot of fun for me creatively. So that's sort of, um, the answer to that. And, uh, I think we're gonna, I'm going to wrap this up, but I want to thank you guys so much for uh, checking out the video. I want to thank you for reading the comic. Uh, it's really important to me and, um, thank you very much.